What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Six of Greatness. And uh, right now, I'm giving. Uh, first off, you're probably watching this is today, Sunday, Super Bowl day. I wasn't even going to post this video, but I'm like, fuck it, you know, it's, it's not going to be that long. And I'm pretty sure somebody happens to give a fuck about my macros or whatever. And I got a day of eating video, the return of Lean John episode coming tomorrow, which is Monday. And I'm pretty sure you're going to wondering why I dropped my carbs and all this. So I thought I'd give you a quick video. Vince posted his video yesterday. Shout outs to everybody that was talking shit. You know, y'all can eat a dick. You know, let that man do the fuck he want to do. But anyway. Right now, my macros. First and foremost, if you watched my old, um, video about, I don't know, eight weeks ago. You know, my macros was like 425 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat. 275 grams of protein. Now, my carbs are 300 protein, 60 to 65 grams of fat, meaning I don't go over 65 and I try to hit around 60. You know, I go 60 to 65 grams of fat and I go 275 protein. 300 carbs, 60 to 65 grams of fat, 275 protein. Now, you're probably wondering why I drop my shit all the way down like that. Well, keep in mind, guys, I don't like to lose the whole half a pound to a pound a week shit. I don't see how some of you guys do that. Bravo to you. Con I fucking congratulate you. But I aim for about two pounds a week. And what I like to do is, if you, if anybody got my meal plan, you already know this. I believe in gradually decreasing your carbs. So for an example, right? I'm at 400 grams of carbs or whatever. I'm losing two pounds a week. Fine, I'm going to keep it there. Even a pound and a half a week, I will keep that if I feel like I'm looking leaner. But if I'm losing under a pound and a half, anything under a pound and a half, I'll drop carbs. Same way with the meal plan, guys. Let's say you're on week uh, seven, right? You lose two pounds or a pound and a half. Stay on week seven. Stay with those macros. You get under that, go to the next week. Don't just go from week eight, week seven, week six, week five, week four. No, you don't do that, okay? You want the diet to last a while. So, you know, stay on that week. If you lose under a pound and a half, go to the next. This is exactly what I'm doing. I kept, let's say, let's say I'm at 400 grams of carbs. I lose, you know, under a pound and a half. I go down to about 380 grams of carbs. Maybe even drop a little bit of fat. Just a little bit of fat. Maybe two or three or maybe even four grams, right? Go some more. I'm at 380 grams of carbs. I'm losing a pound and a half, two pounds, whatever. Everything's going good. I get to the point where I'm only losing, where I'm losing under a pound and a half. I may go down to about 350 grams of carbs. May even keep the fats the same. You know, cause I don't believe in going too low on fats. I don't think I've ever put anybody under 40 grams of fat a day. I don't think I've put anybody under 40 grams of fat a day. Okay, so anyway. So I drop some carbs and keep going. I believe in gradually decreasing the carbs, keeping the protein high as possible, keeping the fats as high as comfortably possible. You know what I'm saying? So I either keep the fats high enough to where, you know, my appetite is satisfied, keep my protein high as fuck, and just gradually drop carbs. That's pretty much what I've been doing. So right now, I'm at about 300 grams of carbs. Truthfully, I could, I could possibly be at about 340 grams of carbs. However, I cut my cardio. You know, if, you, if you're following me, you know I've been doing cardio four days a week at 300 calories. Well, as you may or may not know, I'm busy trying to launch this fucking pre-workout shit. Been, you know, talking to the manufacturers and all that shit. I've been fucking busy with my clients, Skyping and shit. Busy with personal shit. Getting ready to possibly move in the next couple of months. I've been looking at apartments and, and, and little townhomes and shit. Been quite busy. So, you know, I don't have time to go to the gym in the morning and do my cardio and abs. And then come back to the gym at night and do my lifting like I used to. So, I just do two days of cardio a week at about 200 to 300 calories, depending on how I feel today. If I feel like shit, I just do an HIIT cardio session for 200 calories. Takes me about 12 minutes, I'm done. If I'm feeling pretty good, I, buy, I do about 300 calories, you know. But, I do two days of cardio a week with abs, first thing in the morning. Or, if I oversleep that day, which happens quite a bit because I go to bed late. I just do it right after I lift my weights. All right. So, macros: 300 grams of carbs, 60 to 65 grams of fats, 275 protein. Cardio two times a week, 200 to 300 calories with abs. 
You know what I mean? I Like I said, I could have had my carbs up a little higher. I probably could have had them up to about 340 grams of carbs a day if I was willing to do more cardio. That, that's the part. It's all about expending energy, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about expending energy. You got to be honest with yourself. If you're going to do the fucking cardio, you can eat a little more. But if you if you want to be lazy and you don't want to do your cardio, you're going to have to sacrifice some food. You're going to have to sacrifice some carbs, you know, because that's the only way you can get into your fast storage, you know. Think of fast storage like the bank. You know, your fast storage is stored energy. You know, calories is energy, okay. So if you're not expending enough energy to get into your stored energy, you're not going to lose weight. You know, like I said, think about it like the bank. Let's say you make about, I don't know, $3,000 a month. Your bills are about 1500 a month. That means you're going to have 1500 extra bucks to play with. That's just so you're going to have that in savings or in your checking account monthly. After about shit 10 months, you got about 15,000 bucks. I'm not good with math off the top of my head, but let's just say 15,000 bucks a month. That's how your body works. If you're taking in fucking 2000 calories a day, but you're only burning 1000 calories a day and about shit 10 months, you probably got about 10 pounds of fat. Same way. So you have to expend the energy. So if you're not going to do the cardio, you need to fucking cut the calories. So anyway guys, that's what I'm up to right now, you know what I mean? Be sure to comment below, let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what you think. Like I said, Return of Lean Jones episode coming tomorrow. I'm going to post it about 2 o'clock Texas time, you know what I mean? Hope y'all enjoy. It's a pretty long video, it's about 14 minutes. But please believe I make these videos long to really go on the depth of what I'm eating and to also give you a little piece of my day. So I don't want to just say, here's meal number one, here's meal number two, here's meal number three, here's meal number four. Y'all have a nice fucking day. No, I want to take you throughout my day showing you that I still have, I still tend to life business and I still get my meals in because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys go to school, you go to work, you run errands and you, you kind of find it hard to get your meals in. This is... So I'm trying to just show, give you a little piece of my life. Alright, I hope you'll appreciate that. Well, anyway, don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.